Welcome back, family, to Harvest Ministries. I appreciate every time you um, click on the button and go back and come back to my videos. Um, I greatly appreciate it. I know the Lord is happy that His message is going out because it will not go out voided. I thank you for all that you have done with your prayers um, for everyone because I did reach out a couple of times asking you know, individuals to um, get a little prayer team or then they will just join in with prayer with me um, for what's coming up um, with these tactics from the enemy. Um, the Most High has given me a couple more. Well, it's more than a couple. I've had a lot of messages for, for him, but some were for you and then a lot of others are for me. So I want to share um, a few things. This is not such a great message um, for all, but it's a message that has to be given. And I just want to start out with praying for everyone. Father, we come to you as humble as we know how this day, which is your day, and every day is your day. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for the very air that we breathe. We thank you that we'll steer here regardless of what the enemy has been trying to do. We thank you for keeping us covered in your divine protection. Father, we thank you that you're gonna to continue to bless us, keep us regardless of what may happen. Father, we love you. We love you back because I know you say that so many in the world don't love you. I know they mark you and say all kind of things and they've gotten lost up in the shuffle. But Father, we just continue to pray and ask that seeds be sown and others come and water it so people will grow and get to know you. We don't have much time, so we know the time is now to reach out. And we pray that they um, allow the seed to land on fertile grass or ground and we say thank you for blessing us. Thank you for being able to come to you in prayer and ask you what we may. We thank you for all things, Father. And we thank you for this word. Amen. Okay, family, I want to start out with um, this message is going to really reach out to the Gentiles and to the wicked. So... He told me that um, witches will not make it. He said, death will be upon the rising. He said, so they need to turn around now. He said, he love, he has much love. He said, no sinners of other gods. He said, my people are waiting. So family, for those who are in wickedness or those that you know that are in wicked and doing wicked things tell them his arms are still open wide his grace is sufficient he is waiting on them to turn away and turn around so they will be able to make it in so many will be able to make it in he is waiting for his family he's still waiting on people to come into the um, admonition of him because it's just been so much mockery and destruction about his name and who he really is. If people can't use common sense to see that it's so much over all these years that's been gone out about him and he is still standing with his name, why is it so much diversity? I want to share a little story with you. Before I gave my life to him years ago in my 20s, I was confused, to be honest. I was just totally confused. There was Jehovah Witness, there was Pentecostal, there was Baptist, there was Methodist. There was all different types of religion. There was one called the Black Madonna. I was like, I went in my room and I was like, Lord, I want to come to you, but I don't know what to believe with all the, uh, the division. I said, Lord, just prove yourself to me who you are. And 
He did that. He put me on a road. Although it wasn't 100, it was close to being 75. It was in a system that, um, that he is, is really not a proof of at this point, but it got me on the road to get to know him and to start reading his word. And I appreciate him for that. And later on, once I started learning who he is and um, learning bits and pieces here and there, then he started putting the bread down on the ground for me to pick up more. Then it led to the meat. And um, yeah, it led to the meat. So first he had to get me to know him. And that was through one of those little fake churches. <clears throat> and that's where I was. But over, over the years, he has told me to come out of the church. We'll get to that later. But right now, this we're going to go jump, dive into what he said for a message for the Gentiles. Um, he said, leaders will see an opposition from the people soon. And as you can tell, it's already happening. <laughs> Canada, France. He gave me this message on um, February, February the 9th. And I think they started a few days prior to that. But he said, leaders will see an opposition from the people soon. He said, some will run, others not. He said, rabbits can't hide. What he say? Rabbits cannot hide. He said the patriots will do just that. Patriots. So what he's saying with that is that they're going to be the pa patriots are going to be patriots. He said. He said, but they, not all, but he's saying that what they're going to do is going to cause some death because of their belief. He said, but much love. He said, some love me and I love them. He love you back. He said, they will be with me soon. He said, almost time for them to go. He said, hearts, minds are with me. I love them too. He said, Gentiles, walk close. Things will happen out, out of the ordinary. I have it under control. He said, tell them I love them, those who love me back. Even death will come. They are coming home for good. So we know that there are some things that are going to come. And he is going to take his people home. He said they, it will be for good. And then he told me, he said, and this is a hard message to swallow. But I am with them. Believe me, much love for my people. And then he goes on and he said, the S slash ATC. He said, time will be short. You guys know I can't call that out. So S is the ATC. He said, time will be short. He said, time is fast. He think not. I have speed speeded up time. He said, soon my people won't suffer long, Gentiles. And then he said, be ready, go to the mountains, safer. And then he, then he said, Rocky Hills, survival. He said, survival is there. He said, go now, take others. I'm coming soon. And then he ended it by saying, obedience. And you know, obedience is better than a sacrifice. Obedience. I hate to give that message, but there's a lot coming on on this world, family, and 
We just got to be ready. Then he had told me on the same day that blessings, blessings, unimag unimaginable blessings um, is coming. Um, and then he said, birthing is soon, real soon. So the birthing of um, a group is coming. The Patriots gonna stand up for what they believe in, which which they already are doing that right now. Some of them will go home, and some of them will be fine because they're gonna be. They know where to where to go, and where survival is. And many 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 have survival skills. And he had told me before that they are to teach others the survival skills. But he said. He's going to take some home, and they're going to go home for good. But they're standing for what they believe in. They're standing for righteousness. They're standing for freedom. Um, so that's a hard pill to swallow. I know those are times that we're living in, and he is coming soon. And he said that the rabbits can't go to their hole and hide. They can't hide nowhere, period. Nowhere. He just wants you to know that he loves you. He loves you. And, no, and nothing and no one can change that. Nothing and no one can change that. Just walk close to him and love him back. And listen to him, his obedience. If, if he sent you to a a space or a place and you know this is where um, he sent you don't be adventurous and just wander stay in tune with his voice that's going to be your savior that's going to be him speaking that's going to if he wake you up in the middle of the night and say get up and move I'll lead the way get up and go here listen to him listen because he wakes me up I'm telling you the things that he tells me he's told me before that he's going to guide his people and he's going to talk to him guys if you don't walk close to him you're going to miss the voice listen to him as he's speaking to you stay anointed stay in prayer and please stay fasting please stay fasting please stay fasting that's what breaks the yoke. It's going to break the yoke. Just know you're going to see him do some do some things. He's going to do some, some, some works. He's sending his people out. They're out. They've already started. They're out. And they're waiting on his instructions. The family, I want to say much love. Stay focused. If you don't stay focused, you're going to lose out because you're going to get the adversary that's going to come from one end trying to pull you to another end. Stay in tune to the, the enemy. They got all kind of people out doing all kind of things to make you fall for. This is how when I had to deal with witches and stuff. So I just want to share this little scenario because one day I'm going to share my story about all these witches and things is right there in the church. They are in the church. And it's time for people to come out of the church. Listen to this, what he told me. I think it was two days ago. He said, um, and I was, he said, tell them the three days of darkness is coming. It's coming. He said, WC, the witchcraft in the church is big time trying to take my children down come out of her what he say come out of her same thing he told me years ago come out of her he said come out my people except you get caught up in their iniquity their sin so what he's saying is whatever sin they have committed in regarding to his church, his ministry, and the things that they have done, 
you're going to be caught up in it too. If you don't want to be caught up in it, take this to him in prayer and let him tell you himself like he told me when I was hopping from church to church to church. But these churches, I was finding out God was giving me a great discernment of spirit and he was letting me know that they was in witchcraft. And I was in the beginning, I was like, I don't believe this. I can't, no, that, no, that's not true. No, no, that's a man of God. No, 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 that's a woman of God. Oh, but let me tell you, God was telling the truth. He does not lie. But I was refusing to listen to my inner spirit man telling me, the things what you need to look for. There are certain things that's right there in your face to let you know who they are. From hand signs to things that they wear to things that's sitting inside that church. Things that's on the windows. Some of them have windows and some of them don't. Some of those churches are painted black walls. Why would you be in a church with black walls? Well, I was there for a short time until I really, then there's jewelry that they wear. There's a lot of identities and their characteristics that you can pick up. People try to get close to you. They, they, they come and try to be your best friend. If you don't have the discernment of spirit or you have not read some things in regards to witchcraft that's on the pulpit, and then one sitting out there in the congregation and some of the helpers is out there and some of these auxiliaries or whatever they call themselves doing, trying to counsel people in marriage and all sorts of things. Let me tell you, it's, and you could have been there. I was in one church for 17 years and I was in another church for 13 years and both of them had it in there. Both of them, those churches those people was walking around from the pulpit to the working in the church. Let me tell you, you better listen to the Lord. You better take this. This is a very serious matter because people have died up in there behind this, this kind of stuff. I'm a witness because I had it happen in my family. Take to this to the Lord in prayer and pray about this because you're going to go down with them. He's coming to the, when his judgment, when these things get ready to happen, he's coming to the house of the most high first you want to be at the front of the line then stay where you are if you really thinking that everybody is just this that and the other you better get in get into God in prayer and fasting and ask him to reveal it and when he reveal it believe it don't be in denial like I was family I love you guys stay focused on his word continue to pray regular pray in your heart pray all the time and he will because he know you are chiming in on his um on his entity or who he is on his line he's gonna start speaking be blessed i love you and i'm gonna continue to be praying for everyone help my brothers and sisters on the street make sure you you start witnessing time is short love you much you can't make anybody who don't want to hear you, but it's okay. Love you much. Have a great day.